All right, Adrian Raven, Auckland Philharmonia's production supervisor. It's me. How are you, sir? I'm very well. So, we're doing Die Tote Stadt, the Korn Gold Opera for our upper end concert. And you, as the production supervisor, I know most people probably know you as the gentleman that comes out and brings flowers to the conductor at the end of the concert. It's the only time I'm saying. <laughs> but you do so much more than that. And actually, I want to start by, I'm going to read you, as if you don't already know, I'm going to read you the list of instruments from the uh, front of the score. And keep in mind that he's the one that makes sure that every single one of these instruments is on stage and set up. Okay, so in this opera, we have, well, we have all the singers, but uh, let's go past that for a second. So we've got three flutes with a piccolo, two oboes, English horn, two clarinets in A and B, bass clarinet, two bassoons, contra bassoon, four horns, three trumpets, bass trumpet, three trombones, a tuba, there's timpani, and in the percussion we have glockenspiel, xylophone, triangle, cymbals, tam-tam, tambourine, snare drum, bass drum with cymbals, ruta, and ratchet. And then you have mandolin, two harps, celeste, piano, harmonium, violins one and two, violas, cellos, basses, organ, and then you have Offstage stuff, and I'm so sorry, it's in German, and I, I that's where list. my expertise ends. So, that's everything that's needed. I hope so. And, and you're the one that gets everything here and set up and in the right place, right? With a dedicated group of uh, crew? Yeah. So, like, what, I mean, I'm sure, you know, again, most people have no idea because they come to the concert and it's just ready. So, like, what, what is the preparation? Like, when did you start on this? What, what, what is the process like from when they say, we're doing this opera to today? It's, it starts when they first announced that we're, we're doing this piece, which is over a year ago. So, after I uh, got my head out of my hands, I looked at the score, looked at the realities of some of the, the bigger challenges, like where do we find a harmonium right. that is actually in tune and doesn't have perished billows. And right. uh, that, was the, that was the first job, mm -hmm. find one of those, because it may be a long-winded process to find one. Yeah. Thankfully, we found a good one. That's great. Yes, it, does, it did sound good in rehearsals. It certainly does the job. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're very lucky to have a, a contact who, who supplies us with uh, oddball keyboards from time to time, mm. and different harpsichords for different uh, repertoire. And uh, turns out he was a, a great contact for, for the harmonium. Wow. But he had to drive halfway down the country to pick it up for us, and we're very grateful to him for that. That's awesome. I mean, I imagine as part of this job, you just, you you must just have a great, uh, as they would say in the old days, a Rolodex. You know, like the, just because if, us, if we need something, you just have to find it. And this That's is it. a small country, and sometimes stuff has to come from overseas and things like that. It's an ever-growing list. Yeah. Mm. So in terms, so you design the stage plan as well, right? You're yeah. making sure that everyone's in the right place and can fit. Was that at all a challenge, having this many instruments? It's, it's always a challenge because uh, there are people to consult, particularly yeah. Giordano, music director, yeah. um, and also the, the individuals it, uh, it affects because you can solve, in advance you can solve some issues but create three more problems yeah. by solving one. Right. So it's always a balancing, balancing act mm -hmm. as to where things go, how far away they should be because obviously we have to think about people's health and safety. Yeah. As well as what's, uh, what's artistically appropriate. Yeah. And uh, what will work. And obviously, we have different parts of the orchestra who need to hear each other, but they may not practically be able to be close together. Mm. So, uh, in order to, to weigh up all those um, different aspects, we, we really have to plan it carefully. Yeah. And sometimes we just you know, struggle to find the space on stage. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's exciting. It is. So, so okay, I have a, a challenge. Yeah, I, so, so I have, a, I have a, um, another question for you. So you, people, again, if they've only seen you coming out to bring the flowers, they probably don't know this, but you're a musician yourself. You play the tuba, right? I do. And the trombone? Uh, occasionally. Yeah. yeah, and you've been conducting brass bands for a while. I have for uh, probably the best part of 35 years. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you're on a desert island, and you're stranded, and you can only listen to, like, three pieces of music, what would those three be? Oh, that's a tricky one. Only three. Yeah. Uh, 
Jake is the music. He's great. Let's take uh, Genesis Trick of the Tail. Okay. As, as one piece of music, one album, this concept album. Okay. We'll take that one. Yeah. Yeah. Mahler 8. Yes. No, Mahler 2. I was going to say, Mahler 8, so for anyone that doesn't know, is the nickname the Symphony of a Thousand, right? Mm -hmm. So you have literally a thousand people on stage. I can understand why you would not particularly like maybe the thought of that piece as the person that would have to set it up, but... but. Yeah, um, the production supervisor in me would, uh, would get even more gray hairs just for <laughs> the thought. <laughs> um, I'd be quite happy to, uh, to get it retranscribed as Symphony of a Hundred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even that's a challenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and the third one. Third one. Um, it's tricky. It's it's really hard to narrow narrow it down to three. Mm. Yeah, it would be hard to narrow it down to thirty. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. So if 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 you were at, um, it's after the concert. The concert has gone great, and you're at the bar, and they tell you you can have whatever you want. What are you ordering? Uh, nowadays, it would be a Negroni. Nice. Classic Negroni. Nice. So a Negroni, Mahler eight or two, mm -hmm. and Genesis. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Thanks, Adrian. It's a pleasure.